Hey guys, Serena Williams here, and this weekend was my first track meet of my 2013 season and under my new coaches, uh, Ron Sheffield and Wes Williams. So um, on race day, I shot a little video pretty much explaining what I wanted to accomplish for that day. And then I tried to accomplish it in my race. So in conclusion, um, I'm not very good when it comes to vlogging as far as uh, showing you guys my race pace setup, um, warming up and talking and stuff like that. I'm kind of more focused on what I'm doing that day after I leave the house and I get on the track. So um, to walk you through it, I pretty much got there. The staff that was running the meet wasn't very helpful uh, as far as hurdling goes and accommodating the staff. The lady actually seemed really mad for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, my whole outlook on customer service, if you know that you're going to be working with people, I think it's important that you understand how you come off and you should be ready for whatever happens that day. If you have really mean coaches or really nice coaches, I think it's it's really important for you to be very open and genuine and welcoming, personable is the word I'm looking for when it comes to customer service. So if you guys are working in customer service now and you hate it, you probably should leave because people like me who, who recognize you're having a bad time there, um, it's really frustrating talking to you when I know you're mad for whatever reason and I'm coming in and I'm excited for my first race and you're the first person I talk to and you have a bad attitude, like this is not helpful for anybody. But outside of that, um, so I got my bracelet, it was green, and they were like, you have to put this on before you come inside. You always have to put the bracelet on before you come inside. So I put the bracelet on or whatever. And um, Hurdles was the first event. It's cool because Hurdles, I think, is pretty much the first event in whatever race or meet there is. So it was really cool. So I warmed up outside versus inside because the hurdles were on the cement floor and most hurdle drills are really quick and you want to strike the ground and you need to grab the ground in order to pull. So I didn't feel it was very safe hurdling on cement, so I did it. I just went outside. Um, they didn't let me take any outside because of insurance liability, which I can understand, but if I'm a really good hurdler and I'm doing my drills how I'm supposed to do them, I'd probably fall on my head and on the cement so I just ignored that and warmed up outside um, after I warmed up outside I came inside checked in we went down to elevators pretty cool to get to the track and then we oh so there is an open heat in the university they didn't run university and open together which is cool um, so the lady couldn't find the open sheet which was really frustrating because I'm like okay I get here the first lady I talked to was mad for whatever reason. They won't take my hurdles outside because I want to do the hurdle drills because of a liability. And then the third thing now is that they can't find the check-in sheet for the open girls. So this lady was really nice, though. She was very accommodating. She was like, I'm really sorry about this. Um, let me figure out what's going on, and then we'll get you checked in. So upstairs, there were open girls that checked. Their coaches checked them in, and the lady was very angry that they let their coaches check them in. They're like, no, make the athlete check in, blah, 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 blah. So um, now we're downstairs, and she's like, where's the open girl sheet? And they're like, well, these two girls checked in. And they're like, well, where are they? We can't find them. So they decided to put me in the university heat, which I was okay with because there's more people in that heat. And then there were two open girls on the track. So then the lady's like, oh, are you guys the open girls? And the open girls are like, yeah, we're open. Um, what I mean by open, I realize I'm not very many of you may know what open is, but open, it has to do with whether you're running as an individual, so you're representing yourself, or you're running for a university. Um, after you graduate from university, you pretty much become an individual or an open. You're running for a club or Nike or Adidas. So that's what I mean by open. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, we found the open girls, so we went back to the guy that... Um, had to do with like the heat sheets and stuff. He was a little angry because he had put me in the university and then now we found the open girls. So now he has to put me back in the open heat. Um, so that made him a little upset, but whatever, you know, you, things happen for a reason. <laughs> Anyways, so now I'm in the open heat. 
Um, we found the three girls, or the other two girls, there were only three of us, and uh, did my hurdle warm up. It was cool. UC Davis was there. A few of my teammates um, when I was in school was there, as well as one of my old coaches, so I got to see them. A lot of my old coaches, actually. My high school coach was there, too. Um, so I got to see them. I didn't get to hurdle with them, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, so then we warm up, and then the race gets ready to start. I uh, see all my family and friends and stuff. It's cool when they come out and support, you know, because then you have, like, uh, I don't want to disappoint them. They paid, like, $10 to get in. I think I made the, I think I made Fresno State, like, $100 for the amount of people that came in, which is crazy for one person. So I'm pretty sure if there was a contest, like, who can invite the most people, I think I won. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there were more than 10 people there, but that's just, I'm just going to be modest and say 10. So, um, I got my blocks. I was ready. I didn't really like the blocks that they had. Um, they're like those thick blocks where they're like this wide and the normal blocks I'm used to are maybe like this wide and then the angles are different. So the angles that I practice with are like, I want to say they're 55 or they're like 55 degrees, 60 degrees, and so on and so forth. And these are 50 degrees and 60 degrees. And I'm sure you guys are like, oh, it's only a five degree difference. But um, when you're at my level, five degrees makes a lot of difference. <laughs> when I, I've learned this, my one of my coaches is like a mathematical guru. So he knows what angle and how far your blocks need to be set apart in order that to make sure that you're getting the most out of your block start. And then he calculates, like, weight and height and all this other stuff. And I, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, um, I didn't, my goal was to get out of the blocks and something else that I can't remember at the moment. But that was one of the goals. And I didn't get out of the blocks. <laughs> I didn't start running till actually, like, the fourth or fifth hurdle is when I actually was like, all right, maybe I should start running. And then I started running. But this is common knowledge. We all know that I do that, which is why I always focus on um, trying to get out of the blocks and running through the first three hurdles. So I did meet my goal, but I still ran a fast time uh, for the 55 and for this time of the season. Uh, normally, I, th I ran a 7.93. I'll, sh I'll put that in my blog post or on my blog so you guys can see it. Um, I ran a 7.93, which is a good time for the 55-meter hurdles. In order to get into nationals, uh, indoor championships, sorry, you needed a 777. And for the 60 meters, you needed a 86. So I believe the conversion is 0 0.56, 0 0.52, or 0 0.58 something. There's a bunch of numbers online as far as the conversion. I also heard 0.46. So um, if we do the conversion 79 to, uh, plus 0.5, it cut my time comes out to be an eight four. So technically, I qualify for the championships, but I don't know since it's a fifty five meter if they're going to be so stringent on um, saying no, you didn't meet the fifty five meter mark, so you can't run in championships. We don't know, but I declare it, and I'm on the list. Um, you'll see that I'll post a picture of it. So hopefully, I get to run. That's next weekend, or no, sorry. Yeah, not this weekend, but the following weekend in New Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So my first race out, I kind of qualified for the championships. It kind of makes me wish that I had started train or sorry, started competing indoor earlier. But I mean, that's hindsight. You can always do something wrong. Like, oh man, I wish I did this better. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at now. First meet out, I think I qualified for indoor championships. I'm on the list. They accept uh, thirty. Two girls, I think it goes 32, 24, 16, maybe because there's prelims, prelims finals, something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys can check out Serena's World where I'll post all the pictures and stuff that I have. And then I'm going to attach more footage from my race day, my race day jitters and then my race. So yeah, that's the video for today. Serena Williams. And I hope you guys enjoyed my story and kind of got a visual on how my track meet went. Um, it was really fun. I met a lot of cool people. And I look forward to running in the next meet, um, which probably will be the 
national championships because unfortunately this weekend I don't think there are any indoor meets. There's only outdoor meets. So hopefully I get to go and I'll shoot a video there as far as traveling and all that fun stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. Have fun watching my race too. And feel free to comment, critique it, whatever. If you have questions, ask. I'm uh, more than willing to ask, answer them. <laughs> all right, bye guys. So today is my first track meet opening up in my home city. I'm very excited to see where I'm at in my season or in my training. Um, was a little nervous yesterday, but not really. I'll probably be nervous like right before the race goes. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, outside of that, for this race, I'm kind of just hoping to get out of the blocks. Um, that's always been an issue of mine. I've always been the last one out of the blocks, unfortunately. And to make sure that my trail leg is quick over the hurdles. <sighs> Those are my two goals. Uh, get out of the blocks and keep my trail leg quick. Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later. Take a fair start. And it looks like it's a lane five. Serena! Woo!